Hello students, welcome back to TMI's Home Based Education. From today we are going to start the next chapter that is chapter number 16, Area Perimeter and Volume. But in this chapter we will first begin with Perimeter, then we will go to Area and then with Volume. So let us understand what do a Perimeter means. Now Perimeter means if one figure is being given Okay, अब उसका perimeter if you want to find out, so perimeter means उसकी जितनी भी side, if any figure it can be of three side, four side, five side, but it should be what a closed. Perimeter is a distance covered along the boundary forming a closed figure when we go round the figure once. जब एक बार यहाँ से start करके वापस वहीं पे आ जाते हैं, तो उसका perimeter हो जाता है. जैसे आप आपका एक घर पे हो रूम ले लो रूम की जो वॉल्स है दे आर द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दैट रूम के ब्लैक बोर्ड है तो ब्लैक बोर्ड की जो चारों और चारों साइड है उसको आप ऐड करो यू विल गेट द पेरीमीटर ऑफ द ब्लैक बोर्ड सो द मीनिंग ऑफ पेरीमीटर मींस कोई भी फिगर दिया हो या किसी चीज का भी हमें पेरीमीटर ढूंढना है तो क्या करना है उसकी जो भी बाउंड्रीज होगी दैट वी विल ऐड एंड इट विल बिकम द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दैट फिगर और व्हाट एवर द थिंग इट इज ओके सो पेरीमीटर का मतलब आपको खास यही याद रखना है दैट वी हैव टू ऐड ऑल द साइड्स उसकी जो बाउंड्रीज है या साइड्स बोलो उसको जब हम ऐड करेंगे सो वी विल गेट द पेरीमीटर दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पेरीमीटर नथिंग हार्ड इज बीइंग देयर perimeter means what you to remember that when we want to find out perimeter of any figure or anything just home uski kya chahiye side ka measurements chahiye jitne bhi side ka wo hoga us sides ka better measurement hamare paas hoga wo sab ko hum add karenge so we'll get the perimeter of that thing or figure whatever it is be there so just the meaning of perimeter is that now in this chapter we are going to study about perimeter of two things so let us first begin with perimeter of square now perimeter of square you are knowing that square is that figure whose all sides are equal uski charo side kya hoti hai equal hoti hai so let us represent it by only side साइड एंड साइड तो पेरीमीटर में मैंने क्या एक्सप्लेन किया कि कोई भी फिगर हो या किसी का भी पेरीमीटर चाहिए तो हम क्या करेंगे उसकी जितनी भी साइड्स है उसको हम क्या कर देंगे प्लस सो देयरफॉर वी विल फाइंड दैट पेरीमीटर ऑफ स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू व्हाट वी विल राइट दैट साइड प्लस साइड प्लस साइड प्लस साइड तो कितनी बार साइड है देखो वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो हम डायरेक्टली लिख सकते हैं फोर इंटू साइड सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड आउट एट पेरीमीटर ऑफ स्क्वायर वो कैसे आया दैट आई हैव शोन कि स्क्वायर की चारों साइड इक्वल होती है सो इफ यू वांट टू ऐड देन साइड प्लस साइड प्लस साइड प्लस साइड सो इट बिकम्स हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो इट्स बेटर दैट इन प्लेस ऑफ Writing side plus side plus side plus side, we will write what four into side, so we will get the answer for the perimeter. So in the sum, जब हम use करेंगे तब ये use करना है perimeter of square is equal to four into side. This is how it had came. Now let us move to another. That is perimeter of rectangle. Now perimeter of rectangle. Rectangle you are knowing that in rectangle opposite sides are always equal. Rectangle जो होता है उसके जो opposite sides होते हैं, means these two sides are equal and these two sides will be always equal. वो याद ही रखना है. Square is that figure whose all sides will be equal and rectangle is that figure whose opposite sides will be always equal. So this will be length. So here also it will be what length. This is breadth, and here also it will become breadth. 
So length opposite sides are equal, so these two are length and these two will be the breadth. Now perimeter of rectangle, how can we find out? We will represent length as L, breadth as B and then we will use it in the formula. So we can write that length plus breadth plus length plus breadth because perimeter what I have told you that sum of sides so length plus breadth plus length plus breadth when we will do we will get the perimeter of rectangle so you can see L plus L two times we are getting L so we can write for 2L plus same way B is also coming two times so we will write 2B now in this both we are having two words common don't make two common at the two ko bar nikal do so it will form the formula that is 2 multiplied by bar and the two ke baad mein kuch bhi nahi means we have to multiply 2 into length plus breadth okay length word use hoga kabhi long word use hoga breadth ki jagah broad word use hoga ya wide use hoga so length means wo kitna long hai aur breadth means kitna wide hai okay so the words may be different but the meanings will be one and the same so length breadth length and breadth so length plus breadth plus length plus breadth it comes to two times length and two times breadth so wo dono mein se two common nikal diya so what is remaining inside the bracket l plus b so again this is the formula which you have to use in the sum. So perimeter of rectangle kya hoga? 2 into L plus B. Whenever you will writing this both the formulas in the sum, automatically you will come to know that perimeter of square is equal to 4 into side and perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. Jab tak bar bar ko cheez nahi likhoge, wo yaad nahi hoge. Ratta maaroge, do din yaad rehega, phir bol jaoge. But us, we are writing all the formulas in all the sums. That's why it's easy to remember that if you have a question, average is equal to what to I, that sum of quantities upon number of quantities. So, same way, profit is equal to what? So, SP minus CP, loss is equal to CP minus SP. So, when we bar bar koi cheez likhenge, so automatically that will be remembering for the longer time. So, perimeter of square means what? 4 into side kar dena hai, perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. Now, you have to use this. This is how it came that I have explained you. But formula, this is how it is 2 into L plus B. And here, 4 into side, what we have to use when we will solve the sum. So, this was the explanation regarding perimeter in that perimeter of rectangle and perimeter of square. Now, same way we have to move to exercise 2. Exercise 1 is the zone area that we will do it afterwards as I had already told you. So, now we have to do the exercise okay, that will be exercise number 2. Perimeter ke baad, area ke hota hai, wo seeking hai. Area ke baad, perimeter ne. Perimeter matlab hoon ne seek liya. Boundary ka total jo hota hai, that is called the perimeter. Ab area ke hota hai, wo boundary ke andar ka jo space hota hai, that is called area. Okay, that's why we have just taken perimeter as in the beginning, the first part of the chapter and then we will move to area or fir exercise 1 karek and now we will start with exercise 2. So in exercise 2, if you can see in your textbook, question number 1 where we have to find out the perimeter as it is given. So, in the blanks it is given, length, breadth and perimeter is being given. So, we will write also in the same manner, how we will write exercise 2, question number 1. First one, we will write length is equal to 6 meter and breadth is equal to 5 meter. What we have to find out? Perimeter. Now, when length and breadth both are given different means it is a rectangle. Agar length or breadth dono same hai means it is a square like that. Question number 3 is being there. See, length is 8 meter and breadth is also 8 meter means it is a square. So, we have to square ka formula use to now. So, here we will just begin with perimeter of rectangle. So, perimeter of 
rectangle we can say that it is 2 into L plus B so 2 will come as it is length is what 6 meters so we will write 6 plus breadth is 5 meters so we will write 5 so first we will add this we will add 6 plus 5 is coming 11 or we will add multiplication 2 into 11 it comes to 22 meter don't forget to put the meter over there perimeter may last be compulsory meter centimeter kilometer whatever it is being given that we have to mention so simple because hard may it's very easy let us do second one also where the length is given 7.5 centimeter and breadth is given as 2.5 centimeter so again both are different means we have to find out perimeter of rectangle so perimeter of rectangle is equal to again we will use the formula 2 into L plus B now 2 into length is how much 7.5 plus 2.5 is breadth now when you will add it the answer will come as 10 0.5, 0.5 is 1, means 7 plus 1 is 8, and 8 plus 2 is 10, and 10 to the is 20 centimeter is your perimeter of rectangle. Now the third one I am doing, fourth and fifth, you have to do it. So, third one, the length is given as 8 meter, and breadth is also. 8 meters. Then don't go for 2 into L plus B. Directly go for therefore perimeter of square is equal to what? 4 into side. So this will be your side 4 into 8. Because square when the melee bata that is square is a figure whose all sides will be equal. So, 8, 8 is the back of 80. Hoga. That's why length and breadth are coming the same. Okay, AB square is the same. Length and breadth is the same. Chai, but as it is different, means it is rectangle. Square is the figure where all the sides will be equal. So, here we are taking the side which is common for square that is 8 cm. So, 4 is the 32 meter is the perimeter of that square. So, students. We have completed question number 4. Now from question number 2 to question number 6, we will do it in the next video. It's very simple because hardly only two sums we have to do it. Perimeter means what? Again we are revising sum of sides. So, jitni bhi sides ka figure hoga ya jo bhi cheez hai, uski sides ko hume add karenge, we will find out perimeter. And we had studied about perimeter of square and rectangle. Square is that figure whose all sides are equal. So, perimeter of square, the formula we found that is what? 4 into side and perimeter of rectangle, the formula we use that will be 2 into L plus B, means length plus breadth. So, in this video, students, this much only. In the next video, we will continue with exercise 2 with the word problem. So, till then, thank you.